Hello everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff in the Weather Center. What a beautiful weekend it was. I hope you enjoyed that warm weather. And now there's been a lot of chatter about a big weather system that's moving in and bringing heavy accumulating snow. You might have heard about that, might have seen those social media posts. Let's set the record straight in this video forecast on what you can expect. First of all, we're going to start off with the four W's. This system does definitely warrant the four W's. It is strong enough. And this is the threat that we're going to see. A rain changing over to snow. And we'll tell you the timing of all this. We'll also have falling temperatures with snowfall continuing. However, because it's been so warm, all of this accumulation will occur mainly on grassy surfaces. When does all of this arrive? We'll start to see the rain before sunrise tomorrow morning. The changeover from rain to snow will occur after 8 o'clock in the evening. Then as we move into Wednesday morning, that snowfall will begin to push off to the east. So where will this hit? There's going to be precipitation everywhere. It's going to be a little bit less the farther northwest you go. And into southeast Kansas, that precipitation will come to an end because of a uh, stronger and more farther south track of the low. Snow accumulation will be limited. Higher amounts will be in the eleva higher elevation areas of the Ozark Mountains as well as the Washita's. A rapidly developing system. There's no doubt this system is going to get strong and intense, and uh, but the temperatures have been warm. Our ground temperatures have been way above freezing, so that's going to make it very difficult to have that snowfall accumulate on roadways, mainly grassy surfaces. There will be dynamic cooling, which will allow that snowfall to begin to accumulate in higher elevation areas to our east. Temperatures right now are in the upper 50s to lower 60s. So here's the satellite and radar, a strong weather system that's going to be organizing around the Four Corners region. You can see the front weather system bringing rain to the southeast, but our system that we're watching is right here. You can see it developing on water vapor. That low is intensifying and a strong jet stream is moving in. Now there will be severe weather farther to our southeast along the Gulf Coast states, including the potential for tornadoes. We are just going to see mainly rain and then that changeover from rain to snow. So let's get you started on the future track. Here comes the rain pushing in by sunrise Tuesday morning. By Tuesday late morning, it's looking rather wet. So for that uh, baseball game, the Razorback baseball game versus Miss Valley State at 3 o'clock, it's going to be a soaker. Not nearly as nice as it was this weekend for baseball on Tuesday. Then you'll start to see some blues and pinks showing up. This is that rain changing over to snow. Now this low is intense and developing, so the winds will be increasing, and we will begin to get some cold air wrapping in, but temperatures at the surface are expected to be right around or above freezing. Now, snowfall accumulation does look a little more likely the farther east you go into north central uh, Arkansas, and then that system starts to lift out. Now as far as the rainfall coming in overnight tonight, I think we'll start to see that already by Tuesday morning and into the uh, by before sunrise. So we're looking at some rainfall pushing in from the southwest. That's my wife. I'll call her back here in just a little bit. On the future track, 7 o'clock in the morning, you can see that rain pushing into northwest Arkansas. Look at the temperatures, though, in the mid-40s. Now, there is a little bit of a changeover that starts to occur in the eastern sections of the Ozark Mountains as well as the Washita's. By Tuesday late evening, look at this, we're still in the lower 40s to upper 30s, and I think that's pretty realistic. Now, temperatures will be dropping rapidly, as you'll see in Harrison, 37 degrees, that's still above freezing, but if the amounts of precipitation can occur quick enough, we will get some dynamic cooling, allowing for that snowfall to accumulate, mainly in elevated surfaces. So as far as the accumulation totals, this is what we're expecting. It's going to be a dusting here in northwest Arkansas, if we're lucky. Mainly it's going to be a rain changing over to snow farther east and higher elevations of the Ozarks as well as the uh, Washita's could pick up around one to two inches of a, a wet snow, a very slushy snow accumulating on grassy surfaces. So as far as you know the multiple inches of snow, not even that computer model from Sunday is forecasting that now. So that's the latest from your weather authority. Keep it here for the latest weather information.